Welcome to Bar Resource, guys. Happy Halloween. Welcome to our Halloween episode. Uh, this is my costume, but it's definitely makeshift for this episode. And it's definitely cool to throw on and creep people out. Goose hates it. Goose despises it. Which is good, because you're defending this place, and I like that. I like that about you, Goose. Happy Halloween. What are we doing today? We are making some bloody cocktails. Uh, we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to do Mezcal Tommy's Margaritas, which if you know anything about margaritas, Tommy's are the absolute best margaritas. It's the simplest, most delicious margarita you'll ever make. Today we're going to be batching, obviously for all these Halloween parties that people are going to be throwing, we are going to be batching a full skeleton pitcher of Mezcal Margaritas with a special ingredient that's going to make them hopefully look real bloody. Obviously, you're going to need uh, a nice sized pitcher, some glasses, whatever you're trying to serve this stuff in. Uh, you are going to need lime juice. You are going to need agave syrup, one to one agave to your hot water. This is actually fresh lime juice. You can use the invitation if you want, but there's going to be a huge difference in your cocktails if you actually just use fresh juices. Fresh juices make the difference, Nick. Uh, we got Nick back on this episode, by the way, helping me out, helping me knock out these fall episodes where we got Reggie and Matt. Uh, MIA, where are these guys? Where are you, Reggie? Where are you, Matt? We're worried about you. What else do we need? Lime, agave, and then of course we need our mezcal. A Vita mezcal, it's the only one we promote because it's the only one that I like, let's be honest. We do have a secret ingredient that we're gonna drop in. We've used it in an episode before and hopefully it's gonna make this thing nice and bloody looking. But let's go ahead and just get started. I like to quantity everything to a full bottle. A full 750 is gonna be 25 ounces. We are going to do somewhere close to a 2-1-1 ratio. Uh, it's going to be a little bit less on the lime and agave. Like I said, a Tommy's margarita is going to be 2 ounces of tequila or mezcal, 0.75 agave, 0.75 lime. Citrus needs to be shaken. Citrus needs to be activated in cocktails. You can't just dump this into a glass and have it be okay. How we're going to accomplish that today uh, is through the blender. We've got 25 ounces of our mezcal tequila, so we are going to need roughly half of that, 12 ounces. We'll scale it down just a little bit, 10 ounces of our agave. Trusty measuring cup. So we're going 10 ounces, uh, maybe maybe just over. I think the math actually puts it at like 9.8 or something like that. We'll keep it right at 10 for this. All right, 10 ounces of our agave, 10 ounces of our lime. and then 25 ounces of our Mezcal Tequila. All right, that's gonna fill it right to the top, which is perfect, and who could have guessed? Because I haven't planned this out that well at all, and it's just working out right now, Nick. That's all I can see. Now our secret ingredient that's hopefully gonna make this super bloody. Let's find out. Can you guess it? Do you know it? We are going to use one whole red a dragon fruit. Is that racist? So normally a red dragon fruit is gonna be a lot deeper red than this. We got kind of a pink dragon fruit, which is what it is in this scenario. So we're gonna go ahead and use a whole half of that dragon fruit in our blender here because honestly, I don't think anything else will fit. Let's blend that puppy up. You know, it made it nice and pink. It sure didn't make it deep red like we were hoping, but whatever, it's still gonna be a delicious cocktail. That is good to go. This is your mezcal margaritas with your dragon fruit. This drink is, what are we serving this in? I wanted to do something a little bit special because this is Halloween. We are serving it in this big pitcher. Uh, what I was gonna do was use some shaved ice and I happen to have gotten a new toy recently. This thing's awesome. Basically a shaved ice machine. Excuse me, sorry about that. Oh my God, buddy. Uh, you can use it for snow cones, you can use it for drinks, you can use it for... 
Whiskers? Uh, it's a great for stronger cocktails, which is what we are dealing with right now. This is going to water it down quicker. Where's that switch? It's a really small zipper. It's actually really hard to get off. <laughs> Once you've got a good amount of your shaved ice here, we just want to load up these cups, baby. This scoop is the most useful thing I've ever gotten, Nicholas. And did you know I didn't even have a scoop for the first like six episodes? Don't be afraid to use your hands though, because it's easier. And that's what hands are made for. What you do want to be careful of is packing that ice down too much and then pouring this over top and it literally just diversifying everywhere but inside your drink. So, you know, we don't have to actually pack it up with that much shaved ice right away. Almost to the top, almost to the top. And then you wanna get Moss shaved ice. We need more shaved ice. <laughs> These aren't, actually aren't turning out too bad. Why we fill it below the rim a little bit uh, is you want to keep packing that ice up so it comes over the top here. But if the liquid's filled too high and then you pack the ice, uh, you'll see the effect I'm getting here. It starts to overflow. And then our final touch is just going to be our decor. And uh, I chose some sour worms just to make it like gross and stuff. The dragon fruit should make it nice and sweet. It is a strong cocktail though, just how we like them. And then I got some little buddies on top. Metal straws because we like the planet. And there you have it, voila. We have our mezcal red dragon fruit margaritas uh, over shaved ice. We've got some sour gummy worms. We've got some fake bugs. These should be delicious. They pack a punch. They kind of are a punch. Try these out for any holiday parties you might have. It's really easy just to prep and batch for. Uh, they're delicious drinks, they go a long way. If you can't find the red dragon fruit, red dragon fruit can be kind of rare. What you can do is use either a beet juice or beets. That's gonna give it a much deeper red. Uh, it's gonna give it a little bit of an earthy flavor too. Is there any other way they could turn these cocktails red, I'm trying to think? Cherry juice. Cherry juice, that would be really good. Grenadine, of course. I hate grenadine, but all else fails, if you only have grenadine, you can turn it red with some grenadine. I hope you make these for any parties you might be having this season. If you're just trying to do an individual Tommy's Margarita, we will do an episode on that. If you have any cocktails that you're making this season, this Halloween season, uh, I want to see them. I want to hear about them. <laughs> we are looking to feature a cocktail in, in the coming weeks, uh, so please share your work with us. If you're making these at home, I want to see pictures. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great week. Have a happy Halloween. I'll catch you guys next time.